Hi, I'm Laura Tedstone. I'm the uh, Heathland Heartland Project Officer with Durham Wildlife Trust. Uh, this is one of my sites here at Quaking Houses. We've got 10 sites in total. And um, it's Heritage Lottery funded this project. And that's Merlin. <laughs> So the project's Heritage Lottery funded, uh, which is helping us uh, manage a lot of these sites. Um, the sites are owned by Durham County Council and um, they've all got a heathland aspect to them. The point of managing them is we've lost 80% of our heaths, of our lowland heath, since the 1800s. So it's on the decline. If we don't manage them now, once it's gone, it's gone forever. It can take a lot of money and a lot of time to bring the heaths back up to the standard of this one. So we're managing these 10 sites and we're trying to link all of these sites together in a lovely green corridor. Improve the habitat in each site and have a lovely swathe of great corridor in this area. And I've been told by some of the people here, they've actually worked down the mines as well and how, uh, how it's come on, down the pits should I say. And they've explained how it's come on over the past few years. I've also been speaking to a lot of local people um, about how the silver birch on this site has taken over and the problem we have with bracken. Thus leading us on to our lovely heavy horses here. This is Merlin. The reason I'm using these horses, well not me personally, Alan's up there doing all the work, but the reason we wanted to bring them onto this site was we've got this huge bracken problem. We've managed to fell a lot of the silver birch, we've got a lot more to do, so we can keep on top of that ourselves but we can't keep on top of this bracken. Last year, when I started this project, it was myself and a volunteer, Tara, and we did it by hand, and it hurt, and it took us a long time. So Tara said, well, why can't we use horses? She's a big horse lover. And I thought, well, actually, it's probably the way forward. We can use the old methods to help us out in this day and age. So at the moment, Romeo's out there with a big roller, knocking it, bending it, breaking it off, back and forth, back and forth. And then after three years of managing it in this way, we should be able to get it as low as possible.